back everyone. In today's video we're going to be covering some of the ancient apex predators that both hunted and competed with our human ancestors. Please enjoy. When this three-year-old child's skull was found in 1924, it was among the first early human fossils to be found in Africa. The Tong child's first molars had only just begun to erupt through the gum and become visible as teeth, showing that the fossilised jaw belongs to a child. Closer analysis of dental development, crown formation and root length has estimated the child's age at death was three years old. The Tong child is thought to have been attacked and killed by an eagle. Scientists suspect the eagle killed the Tong child because puncture marks were found at the bottom of the three-year-old's eye sockets. These marks resemble those made by a modern eagle's sharp talons and beak when they attack monkeys in Africa today. Other evidence which holds the eagle responsible includes the presence of eggshells at the site and a mixture of animal bones found alongside the Tong child's skull. Most of the bones found are from small animals, including rodents, tortoises, lizards, crabs, small antelopes and small baboons, which is uncommon with animal bones found at other early human sites. Many of these small animal bones also have damage resembling that made by modern birds of prey. Today, 90% or more of the prey of crowned eagles in the Kabel National Park in Uganda are primates, mostly monkeys. Primates are also the favourite prey of the harpy eagles in the tropical rainforests of the Americas. We're not quite sure if ancient birds of prey hunted early adult humans, but it is very likely that they hunted the babies and the juveniles. Today's leopards show exactly what our ancestors had to contend with. In one study in South Africa's Kruger National Park, 70% of baboon deaths were attributed to the African leopard. In another study, half of the mammals that leopards killed were monkeys or chimpanzees. They also kill young gorillas. When scientists pick through leopard scat, many of the bones they find are from primates' as ribs, fingers, toes and skulls, all of them remarkably similar to our own skeleton. A single troop of chimpanzees in Tanzania had four of its members eaten by lions in just a few days in 1989. The authors of that study reported that the responses of the chimpanzees to lions included alarm calls, whimpers, climbing into trees and silence. We have no reason to believe our ancestors' responses to big cats were any different. A two million year old Paranthropus skull cap fossil known as SK54 from South Africa has provided some interesting information about the death of one young individual. The skull cap has been pierced leaving two small round holes. These holes have been perfectly matched to the canine teeth in the jaw of an ancient leopard species. It seems that the leopard caught the adolescent and dragged its prey up into a tree to eat it, just as modern leopards do today. A horrifying death for the young hominin. Spotted hyenas regularly prey on baboons, and in some regions, people. In the 1950s, hyenas ate 27 people in Malawi, but the real primate eaters are the hyenas' extinct relatives. As many as 100 hyena species have existed alongside primates. Many of those hyenas were big, mean brutes, including the short-faced hyena, which was the size of a lion. It lived from 3 million to 500,000 years ago alongside the first hominids, such as Australopithecus. It had a mouth capable of fully enveloping a hominin's head, which it did. A treasure trove of skulls, known as Pecking Man, which belongs to Homo erectus, found in China prior to World War II, appears to be from a waste pile of a short-faced hyena, highlighting that our human ancestors were in fact hunted by these hyenas. One concern was ancient crocodiles, which launched ambush attacks from bodies of water. An individual from the species Homo habilis, dubbed OH8, may have fallen victim to such an attack 1.8 million years ago in what is now Tanzania. OH8's left foot was discovered with its toe bones completely missing. 
A team of scientists determined that the damage seen at those break sites matched that of bone damage characteristics of a crocodile attack. I'm sure you'll agree with me, but there's something just eerie and disgusting about dying in a swamp to a massive reptile dragging you under the water. That has to be one of the worst ways to die as an ancient hominid. It will make you happy to hear that humans didn't always fall victim to these apex predators. Ancient Neanderthals may have actually ambushed bears twice the size of grizzlies to steal their caves. The cave bear had an overall body length of roughly 2.7 to 3.5 metres and a giant upright standing height of 3 to 3.5 metres. The cave bear was a bear species that lived in the Pleistocene region of Europe and Asia and died in the last glacial maximums about 24,000 years ago. One species of cave bear was the short-faced bear. Archaeologists estimate most giant short-faced bears, including females, to weigh from 1,600 to 1,900 pounds. Some estimates even exceed a ton. Researchers studying more than 1,700 prehistoric bear bones found evidence of cooking as well as bite marks that match Neanderthal teeth. A number of the bones show signs of blunt force trauma perhaps inflicted as our heavy-browed ancestors attempted to extract the nutritious marrow inside the bone. Archaeologists say the remains which belong to a total of 50 cave bears that lived 50,000 to 43,000 years ago suggested that Neanderthals waited until the predator drowsily awakened from hibernation before launching their attacks. The saber-toothed cat lived alongside early humans and may have been a fearsome enemy. Several types of saber-toothed cat, once known as saber-toothed tiger, lived for over 40 million years before becoming extinct around 12,000 years ago. During this time period, humans were hunters, but they were not alone. They had to defend themselves against these big carnivores. Humans would have had to fend off against these cats while harvesting their kills or foraging in the wild. Due to the cat's massive incisors and stature, which was around 350 to 620 pounds, much like lions today but slightly more muscular, they would have been a vicious competitor for humans to deal with. I'll sign out with a picture of this cave bear incisor fossil. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching.